Hello, everyone. I'm Dan Bossy, president of Ag Resource, joined by Scott Euknis, president of Climate Impact Company, a sister company of Ag Resources, and we're happy to have him here in Chicago today. Scott, we've got Enso forming out in the uh, equatorial Pacific, uh, and by that I'm saying La Nina. So what do you think for the upcoming year? Well, the first thing I would say is, you remember the big El Nino we had 2015, 2016, and all the models were showing a La Nina would follow that mm -hmm. and be quite robust. And I think the markets, all the meteorologists, all of us sort of went along with that sort of analog historical view. And the La Nina failed. I mean, it was very weak. And then we had forecasts after that of a possible El Nino developing, which really didn't happen. So I think we're in that state now. We're out of this real strong ENSO events. We're in this weak La Nina, back to a weak El Nino okay. sort of phenomenon. So right now we're heading into a weak La Nina. I don't think there's any doubt about that, but it will be weak. Um, some of the models are showing a very strong event for upcoming Northern Hemisphere winter. I just don't see that. The main reason is the rest of the Pacific is just not cooperating. You know, the, the global sea surface temperature anomalies have been record warm, and that's really throwing a curve at the ENSO phenomena, that we can't generate a strong ENSO event with the global temperatures being as warm as they are. So it looks like a weak La Nina ahead, maybe three, four months, once we're into February, March next year, we'll come right out of it, and we might see an El Nino by the second half of next year. So really that wouldn't have much of an impact on northern hemisphere, U.S. crop weather next year. Um, no, I, I think it will work in conjunction with some of the other phenomena that's out there, the Atlantic multi-decade. You know, you know what, what we've done over the last 10, 15 years or so, we've been in an ENSO regime that generally doesn't produce big events. So we're now starting to look at the middle latitudes of the Pacific and the Atlantic to generate climate, and there's definitely some relevance there. So I think what will happen for next year in the U.S., um, already we're looking at drought developing in the Mid-South. The Southeast is typically very dry during mm -hmm. a La Nina winter. So I think coming out of winter we're going to see dryness in the Southeast up into the Mid-South and that dryness because the Atlantic is warm is going to creep northward right into the growing areas for next spring and next summer. So I think that we are at risk right now. It's a long lead forecast granted of a, of a dry to drought scenario in the Great Plains, especially Central Plains, Southern Plains for next summer. Very, very interesting. My name is Dan Bossi, joined by Scott Euknis. Thank you again. We'll be back uh, next time.